Hey, welcome to my channel. Welcome back, everybody. And if you're new, thank you for stopping by. Just adjusting my pants here. Um, this is a DIY. Normally, you guys see a lot of couponing. My CVS haul is coming up. It's teeny tiny. CVS sucked this week, point blank. But I do have a small haul. So that'll be up. But um, this is a quick DIY. I don't know how quick, so I'm going to just like do this little intro fast. Um, I'm just upcycling some bottles like Snapple bottles <laughs> with my sticker on it. Um, these are Starbucks coffee bottles. Um, and I'm making some apothecary jars. You could use them for Halloween. Um, Halloween's tomorrow. This is something that if you're having a party, this would be a great decoration and it's not expensive and it's creepy. It adds a cute touch. You could do a lot of things with it. You know, I have it. Um, I'll show you the display when I'm done, but you can get one of those trays in the dollar tray. This I got from a garage sale, but you know, you can get a couple of those trays for a dollar. You can go to Walmart, get yourself, a, you know, a couple of paints, 50 cents a piece. Um, Dollar Tree, some jute twine or some raffia. You're definitely going to need Mod Podge for this. This is a chalkboard um, top coat, but you can just use your regular Mod Podge or Elmer's glue with water. Um, you're going to need some paint brushes or some foam brushes. Both maybe would be, you know, convenient. Some scissors, hot glue gun, maybe a piece of sandpaper to rough up your surface a little bit, a work surface. Um, I do have some of that art tape from Jot. It's essentially electric tape. If you have a cutting surface, just lay out a piece of electric tape, take a razor blade, and cut it in half. It's the same thing. Just something to decorate the necks of the bottles. Um, this is what I got the Starbucks one to look like. I did some twine. Um, I just put some rocks rock filler that I had, a huge five pound box that I got at Walmart on clearance for a dollar. I did use on that bottle the chalkboard, chalkboard, chalkboard clear top coat. That's a mouthful. 75 cents for the eight ounce bottle, but um, I am going to try just some of the glossy from Dollar Tree. And I did use burnt umber and flamenco red. These are 50 cents a piece, apple barrel at Walmart. So, if you're into DIYs, subscribe, hit the bell so you won't miss a video. Even if you just like couponing, whatever, I DIY on a budget. So, you're also going to need a printer or if you want to make some labels by hand, that's up to you. I just Googled and came across Pinterest for some free printables. I had six on this sheet, but I did make, obviously, four bottles. So I have these two left, um, and these are cute. They're called Apothecary of Magic, and this is a poke potion for somebody you don't like. This is to get smoother hair, and it's cute. It tells you, like, the use of it. So I just thought these were adorable. The only thing about these are you have to use a, you know, a large bottle, like the Snapple or the Starbucks, because um, these are quite high. This is about 4 inches in height and 2 inches in width. So um, you definitely need something that you're going to have some good height. So we're going to go with the Starbucks. I just like these a lot. Um, I happen to also use the coffee bottles from um, Aldi, the Barissimo. But I did have to cut and tear around the label a little bit to make it fit because there just wasn't enough here for the four inches. Um, these are going to make nice farmhouse bottles. I'm going to get a couple more of those together and do a nice farmhouse display for Christmas. But let's get to this. Now, some people, you know, you don't have to use these for Halloween. You can make these different, in a, you know, different uh, kind of labels. Maybe that's the best way to put it. And they don't have to be like spooky ones. And um, use them as decor. I mean, you know, every to each his own. So, with that said, um... I just started off with basically uh, dropping my stuff. I colored the, um, I colored, I painted the lid brown. And I didn't do it perfect, as you can tell. There were some white edges that I left. I, that's the whole point. I want it to look used and abused and aged. So that's not quite dry yet. Um, another thing about the Starbucks bottles, those labels are the, the residue that they leave. I had to take WD-40 
to get it off, but it came off so super easy with a little WD-40. I tried, I think, like olive oil, um, but it just was quicker with the WD-40, just to let you know. And then what I did on this bottle, you know, it has a haze because I used the chalkboard finish, but I did scratch it up a bit with some sandpaper. So if you have a high grit sandpaper, you know, you can just kind of give it a little bit of like a gritzy, grungy look just to get some scratches in it. And also I want to let you know the reason that I'm using Mod Podge, um, I'm mixing the Mod Podge with my paint because I wanted only a tint on the bottle. I don't want them opaque. If you want to paint them and this way you can't see in them, that's one thing. But I wanted to be able to put something in them. So I thought that I could water down the paint and do like a wash. However, that doesn't work. Not on the glass, not on the plastic, not even with the sandpaper. Um, it just beads right off. So you're going to have to get Mod Podge or make Mod Podge and then tint the Mod Podge with a paint of your choice. So just FYI. Uh, also have some water. I have a bottle of water and then I just use these um, little caps like on the yogurts, you know, and I use them as paint pots. You know, why not reuse? So I'm going to scoot you guys down. Sorry about the shakage. And this way you could see what I got going on. So here we have our clean bottle ready to go. Um, and where are my scissors? So you don't have to cut them out perfectly. Like I said, you can make your own, tear up the edges. I liked these. They had the aged look already with the yellow around them. And then when you put the Mod Podge over them, it just deepens up that color. It looks so cool. So actually what I did on one of my bottles is I just focused on the edges and left the center of the label um, with nothing on it. This way it was, you know, like a light, still that light yellow. Um, and then on the other ones, I went over the whole thing with the Mod Podge. And it just deepened it up and it looked really good. So, all right, we got it cut out. Um, I already know that this fits absolutely perfectly. I don't have to worry about the edges here. But if you do, like on the Snapple bottle, maybe at the bottom you might, depending on how low you put it, you'll just want to focus with some more Mod Podge on the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do, put my label aside, and I'm going to get a little bit of color going on. I just really happen to like that brown. So, I'm, and you only need a little bit, like a little. That's probably too much. Literally like a dime size of paint. And about the same with Mod Podge. You don't need a lot. You just don't want it too opaque. Unless, I mean, I don't want it too opaque. I want it to be more like a wash. So um, I would definitely test it and see and make sure that it's not too dark. So I'll go on the bottom. It's a little too dark for me. So you could also dip it in some water to lighten it up. So I put some water in a just to lighten it up a bit. But you need that Mod Podge with that adhesive to make it stick to the glass. It just doesn't stay no matter you know what you do. I, I mean, I use sandpaper and it still didn't work. So this should be good. And that's it. I'm just going to go in light, you know, light strokes. You don't have to go all the same way. You could do some like this or, you know, just kind of like however. And um, definitely go till your brush is dry. This way you get that, you know, glaze type of look. You don't, unless you want it opaque. That's really up to you. Um, if you're going to decorate the neck of the bottle, don't worry about it. I am. Um, so I'm not really worrying about putting too much color there because I plan on covering it anyway. So... So I got the color basically that I'm looking for. And I kind of think I want some strokes this way. So then 
you just want to um, get your label make sure there's no water anywhere I'm gonna do this with a little like in a regular paintbrush this is an acrylic brush that I have take your Mod Podge Um, the ideal thing would be to wait till this completely dries. This way you don't worry about um, getting any of the color onto your label. But I'm just going to show you how to put the, you know, how easy the label goes on. So what you want is just a thin layer, focusing more on the edges, because that's where it really counts. Um, and if you put too much of a thick layer on here, it's going to warp and curl on you and you're going to have a hard time. So just a thin layer. But just focus on those edges. Make sure there's a decent amount of Mod Podge on there so it adheres. Um, and then, let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Always want to have napkins on hand in case you want to wipe something. So normally this would be dry enough where I would lay it down, but I'm just going to hold it here. An eyeball. And that's it. I go from the middle out just so there's no... I feel like that might be a little crooked. Mod Podge is a little forgiving. You know, obviously if you're just sitting too long, it's not going to work, but... So just get out all the edges, uh, bumps, and then you just want to make sure that you get some Mod Podge. And I just kind of go like this with my brush and clump it around the edges. Your best idea so you don't contaminate your Mod Podge would be to have a separate container for it. I just didn't realize that I only had two in front of me and one has water and one has paint so I'm working out of the cap so you want to just make sure you have it on the edges just to ensure that but um, like I said if you paint over you'll see this will get a little bit darker so it's up to you if you want that or not so now I'm just gonna take my brush make sure I go along the edges and I'm just gonna make sure I don't pick up any of that color and go over my label and just focusing you might want to run a little bit underneath and then brush it down and just work the edges with the brush it's very simple very simple and that is it so this baby is on Just want to darken up the words a little. So then I might take my dry and kind of go around the edges in case I wiped any color away. Just watching for the label. And that's that. Let that dry. If it needs a second, you know, let it dry. If it needs a second coat, um, go back with a second coat of Mod Podge. And that's, that's really that. The label's on. Your, you know, jar is already judged up and whatever with its color and looking dirty and glazy and gross. This is going to dry glossy. Obviously, I had a chalkboard one, so that did a matte finish. Um... You know, it all depends if you want to buy some chalkboard Mod Podge. I've never actually really worked with this on glass, but I mean, essentially to me it's all the same. Um, and then I just literally took some jute twine and I just took, I left my spool, you know, it's easier for me just to leave my spool and pull some out. And then I just started from the back, put a little bit of glue. I'll get it started, but I want it to dry first. 
Tell me my hot glue gun isn't even on. <laughs> it should be. It should totally be on. Oh no, guys. Well, I'm not exactly sure what happened with my hot glue gun. But I kind of want this to dry anyway. So, you start at the back, do a couple of rows. I mean, you guys get the idea. It's not that serious. And you could go halfway up, all the way up. You know, it's up to you. Um, do whatever with the cap. I honestly think even maybe some of the black tape, since I have one with twine already, you know, I could do some of the black tape with this. But, I mean, there's just so many options, and they come out so cute. This would look cute with one of those Dollar Tree little um, skeleton garlands. You can, like, take it apart, put some of the skeleton bones in the jar, and have yourself a little poke potion. I mean, there's so many labels to print, things you can make. It's just so simple and so easy. So, hopefully, this was a cute little idea. Maybe some of you guys will want to do if you're having a party and have some tweens. This would be definitely something you can upcycle your, you know, bottles with. And you only need a couple of bucks. You can go to the Dollar Tree and get, you know, some Mod Podge and a tray and some foam brushes for three bucks. Um, go to Walmart and get two, you know, colors of paint for a buck. And then use everything that you have at home. That simple. All right, guys, this video has been long enough. Hopefully you like my creepy apothecary jars. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not. And I will see you guys all in my next one. Ciao. Happy Halloween.